हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति कल हम लोगों ने प्रैक्टिस किया है हाथा योगा जिसमें हमारा फोकस था अलाइनमेंट्स पर पॉस्चर को होल्ड करने पर पॉस्चर्स को फील करने पर आज हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं विन्यासा फ्लो जिसपे हमें फ्लो करना है यहाँ पर होल्डिंग ज़्यादा देर तक नहीं होती है वी जस्ट हैव टू कीप फ्लोइंग विन्यासा फ्लो इज़ अ कॉन्टीन्यूस एंड अ डायनेमिक प्रैक्टिस क्लास स्टार्ट करने से पहले एक और चीज़ मेंशन करना चाहूँगी अगर आपको किसी भी अलाइनमेंट में डाउट है तो आप उसका एक छोटा सा वीडियो या फिर एक पिक्चर लेके मेरे साथ इंस्टाग्राम या फिर फेसबुक पर शेयर कर सकते हो मैं आपको करेक्शन बता दूंगी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सिट कंफर्टेबली इन एनी सीटेड पॉस्चर Spine uplifted, shoulders completely relaxed. Join the tip of the thumb to the tip of index finger, back of the hand resting on your knees, keeping your chin parallel to the floor. Close your eyes. Observe your breath. leave all the thoughts at this moment entire focus is on your breath palms to the chest center take a deep breath in exhale out completely Now inhale for the Om chant. Gentle blinks open your eyes. Namaste. Slowly come up. Spread your legs wide. Approximately mat width apart. Extend your arms up. Interlock your fingers. Lift the side of your waist. So you are lifting it from here. Nicely lift. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down, squat down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Two more rounds. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, with your elbows, push your knees out. Join your palms. Getting in Malasana. One. Two. Three. Four. Feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Nicely push your thighs out. Push your knees out. Four. And five. Fingertips down. Lift your hip up. Hands at your waist. Slowly will come up. You can slightly bend your knees, look forward, and then gently come up. Coming to the top of the mat, feet together. Now we'll go for Utkatasana. 
push your hips back make sure your feet together your big toes actually touching each other and heels slightly apart push your hips back knees behind your toes you have a good length in your spine just make sure you are not arching your spine like this too much and not you are rounding it so it's in the center the straight spine pull your abdomen slightly in and extend your arms up breathe there one two three four and five straighten relax spread your legs wide hip width apart now the same way just like utkatasana go down and we'll go for a twist here push your hips back knees behind your toes extend your arms up comfortable palms to the chest center and now with your take your right elbow outside of your left thigh and twist breathe there look up your palms going close to the chest center one two three just make sure most of the weight is on your heels four and five center to the other side push your hips back extend your arms up find the right position palms to the chest center again left elbow outside of your right thigh and twist most of the weight is on your heels one two three four and five slowly down grab your opposite elbows biceps in line with your ears in rag doll just catch your breath upper body is nicely hanging hands at your waist look forward slowly come up with an inhalation now let's start the flow feet together with an inhalation extend your arms up knees bend push your hips back utkata exhale bend forward inhale look forward palms on the floor step back to chaturanga dandasana this posture chaturanga dandasana chaturanga dandasana not coming for you you can always drop your knees down and upper body half way down you are comfortable with this inhale urdhva mukha adho mukha and now bring your heels together make a v with your feet and bring your right foot forward in between your palms keep your back heel down there extend your arms up warrior 1 five deep breaths 1 2 3 and 5 exhale palms down right leg back exhale chaturanga inhale urdhva mukha exhale adho mukha heels together 
bring your left foot forward in between your palms back heel down warrior one on your left side breathe one if you are comfortable you can look up the root of your thumb two three four and five exhale palms down left leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha hold be there One, two, three, four, and five. Look forward in between your palms and step forward one by one. Look forward. Exhale. Bend forward. Now, slowly come up to Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. Inhale, Utkata. Extend, sink down. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, look forward. Palms on the floor. Step back. to chaturanga if you are very comfortable been practicing for long time you can jump back rather than stepping back jump back i'll tell you the basic technique to jump back you can go completely down elbows slightly bent like this so directly jump back in chaturanga dandasana only if you are very comfortable i'll just show you so most of the weight come on your palms elbow slightly bend chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha and now this time feet together take your right leg up to the ceiling keeping your hips square we have a tendency to open hips like this just make sure you are keeping your hip nicely square breathe there one two three this is called as ekapada adho mukha three legged down dog four your weight is equally distributed on three limbs and five bring your right foot forward in between your palms now put your back heel down back heel down right knee right ankle is in one line slowly come up warrior 2 now from here we'll flow so from here take your left palm down on your left chin extend your right arm up reverse warrior your right fingertips down extend your left arm over your head look up to the ceiling again reverse warrior down last round reverse warrior pashwakona variation and now both the palms down either side of right foot right foot come on the ball of your left foot press your palms send your right leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha 
take your left leg up to the ceiling. Before that, bring your feet together. Hip square, as I told you. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Bring your left foot forward in between your palms, putting your back heel down. Left knee, left ankle is in one line. Come up to warrior two. Reverse warrior, right palm down on your right shin, look up. Left fingertips down ahead of your left foot. Right arm over your head, Pashvakona variation. Reverse warrior. Last round, reverse warrior. Pashwakona variation. So by now, your left thigh should be burning like anything. Feel that fire within and breathe. Palms down, either side of left foot. Take your left leg back. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, and hold. Five deep breaths. You can keep gaze at your navel or at your knees. Feet hip width apart. Breathe. Focus is on the length of your spine. Keep lengthening it. One. Two, three, four, and five. Now, those of you who are planning to jump forward, I'll give you a trick for that. So, if you're planning to jump forward, you can go down, sink down, bend your knees nicely, and then jump in such a way that your heels touch your buttocks. I'll just show you like this. Once you're there, heel look forward. Exhale, bend forward, full forward bend. Now, with an inhalation, Utkatasana, bend your knees, extend your arms up. Exhale, Samastitihi. Feet together, release your hands down. With an inhalation, Utkata. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, look forward. Those of you who want to jump back, go ahead with it. Those of you who are not comfortable, step back. For jumping back, sink down completely. Entire weight on your palms, elbows slightly bending. Chaturanga, Urdha Mukha, Adho Mukha. Your feet together. Take your right leg up to the ceiling. And this time, bend your right knee and open your hips. This time you have to open your hips. Breathe there. Make sure you are keeping your shoulders square and simply opening your hips. Both the palms down and grounded. If you are very comfortable, drop your right foot to the back of the glass and extend your right arm up. Breathe there. Mm -hmm. 
right palm down, right leg up to the ceiling. And now bring your right foot forward in between your palms. Look ahead and slowly walk your fingertips forward. Take your back leg off. Breathe there. Now, back leg down. Take your right leg back. Chaturanga. Urdu Mukha. Adho Mukha. Take your left leg up to the ceiling. Bend and open. Shoulder square, hip open. Breathe there. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Drop your left foot to the back of the glass. The right leg goes straight and extend your left arm up. Breathe there. Slowly get back. Left leg goes up to the ceiling. Bring your left foot forward in between your palms. Now, walk your fingertips forward and take your right leg higher. Breathe there. Back leg down, there itself. Palms down, either side of left foot. Send your left leg back, Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha, five deep breaths. Look forward, those of you are planning to jump forward, bend your knees, come onto your toes and then with your heels you have to touch your hips. Gaze forward, exhale out completely. Exhale, bend forward. Now inhale Utkatasana, sink your hips down, extend. Now keep going down, keep going down, keep going down and sit down. We'll go for boat pose. So from there, lean back, keep your spine lengthened, release your hands. Initially keep your legs bent like this, but if you are comfortable, extend and breathe. Interlock. Lift your hip up. We'll go for one more round for the same practice. Release. You can stick to this position. Comfortable extend. Relax. Simply hug your knees to the chest. of your breath and now we'll go for Sarvangasana shoulder stand lie down on your spine females with menstruation can skip the practice you can simply lift your legs up to 90 You are comforta comfortable, we'll go for Sarvangasana. Lift up. Eight deep breaths here.
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट हलासना स्लोली जेंटली टेक योर लेग्स बैक वंस यू आर देयर टक यू अंडक यू टूज लाइक दिस एट डीप ब्रेथ्स इन हलासना Slowly, knees bent, and gently release your legs. Now we'll go for the counter pose. Matsya asana, fish pose. Straighten your legs. Use your elbows. Use your elbows to come on the crown of your head. Use your elbows like this. Lift your chest up. Drop your head back. Put the crown down. now lift the crown off and release hug your knees to the chest to release all the tension from your lower back now supta baddha kon drop your knees out soles of the feet together release your hands allow gravity to work here with every exhalation your knees are going down closer to the floor make sure there is no resistance in your body Now slowly bring your knees together. Release your legs in shavasana. And by chance your lower back hurts, you can go for shavasana like this with bent legs. What this does? This this practice helps in reducing the arch of your spine and helps in relaxing your lower back. But if you are comfortable, release or extended legs. Open your palms. Fingers naturally curled. allow your armpits also to breathe with every inhalation feel the expansion of your abdomen with every exhalation your abdomen is sinking down into the mat observe the abdominal movement while breathing bring your awareness back to the body gentle movement in your fingers and your toes slowly move your head left right bringing your feet together extend your arms up over your head interlock your fingers give a nice stretch from top to toes bend your left knee rolling on to the right side the moment you feel comfortable sit up in sukhasan keeping your eyes closed
take a moment to acknowledge the experience of last practice. Observe the change in your mind which has come after the practice. Hands at the back, grab your opposite elbows, inhale, bend back, exhale, bend forward. Send your gratitudes to the universal energy and be thankful to the Mother Earth. Slowly come up with an inhalation, release your hands, rub your palms nicely, generate the heat. Transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal. Once again, rub your palms and this time, cup your eyes. Looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes. Palms to the chest center. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. I hope you have enjoyed today's flow. Yesterday, we had practiced kiya tha Hatha Yoga and today we have Vinyasa. I have intentionally kept classes ko back to back rakha so that you can understand the flow of the different classes. So, what did you enjoy practice more than Vinyasa or Hatha? Please please mention in the comment section. Today, we are going to practice Prop Yoga, which I will use three props. Belt, Brick and knee pad. If you don't have these three things, then no matter what, you can keep a cushion on knee pad. You can keep a belt, a regular belt or a dupatta on this yoga belt. And you can keep a book on the brick. If the book is thick, it's better. And make sure that you don't confuse this prop yoga with yin yoga. Yin yoga was restorative. It will be a little challenging. And there are some postures that we can't do not do. उन्हें प्रॉप को यूज करके एक्सेसिबल कैसे बनाना है ये हम कल सीखेंगे तो टिल देन ईट वेल स्लीप वेल टेक केयर नमस्ते